Hi guys. We're just going to show you a small demonstration today on the pin and the opening of the tipsy bin. We're on our third fill here with the tipsy bin and we're very happy with it. You just pull the pin straight out. It's worked on gravity. It falls down when you shove it back in. I'll show you that again. Pin is shut. Very simple. Pull it out again. I'll take the lid off now. There we have it. And I'll bring you around the far side and I'll just show you how it's held on here. What you have here is two bolts which lock in to the under lip of the lid, which is here, which keeps the bin shut. Uh, we've driven along the road with it and very secure. Other questions that has been asked about the bin is the dimensions of the bin. So we're just going to show you the dimensions. Where you have the height of her here, just under three foot. At its widest point, which is the center, it's just under four foot. And the length of your bin is there, which is four foot eight. One other measurement is when the bin is tipped, just to check it and you'll see it. Here we have our tips up at the minute and at the entry point, it measures exactly two foot. Which makes it very easy to access the feed for feeding. One other question that we've been asked is what weight does the bin hold? Uh, this bin is nuts in it today and she holds about 700 kgs of nuts when she's full. If you have ration or any other meal in it, she holds between 530 and 540 kgs. Right guys, we're just going to show you how easy it is to get the last bit of meal or nuts out of the bin at the entry point. There's a flat base on the bottom wood, and all the nuts has come down here to this end of it, which makes it very, very easy to scoop up your bucket of nuts for feeding. Okay guys, the last feature I want to show you here today is when washing out the bin and you tip it up, there is a drain hole, which allows you to drain the bin fully dry after washing. 